good evening, everyone. It's so lovely to see you all this evening, even if it's not in person. Uh, so for those of you who don't know who I am, um, I'm Miss Christina Kachkarova. And can I just get a quick thumbs up if everyone can hear me? Just want to double check. Yep, perfect. All right. Um, so I'm your uh, divisional training officer and the junior team lead for Burnaby Division. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to Mr. Ian DeLeon for putting together our yearly highlights that you just saw. Um, I know it's really been a challenging time for a lot of us over these past few months um, since we can't really meet face to face. And really that's what we expect until August, until we know better. Um, and you know what, is Superintendent Chow and um, our honorary brigade division president, Mr. Liu, um, have been discussing plans this whole time to just keep us all connected and happy. And uh, tonight's awards are just the first step of their plan. Um, so hopefully you all read Mr. Chow's emails um, and I hope you all keep your Zoom videos on throughout the evening um, because we will be taking screenshots. So make sure you stay seated, keep your headdress on. Um, and just a reminder that when we will be saluting for the Vice Regal salute, um, that it's only officers. Thank you. Um, and now I'd like to hand it over to our honorary divisional uh, brigade division president, Mr. Liu, to say a few words. Thank you, Ms. Kashkarova. As we begin, I would like to first uh, recognize that our division is proudly based here in Burnaby, which is located on the ancestral and unceded homelands of the Hokaminam and Squamish speaking peoples. We are grateful for the opportunity to present on this shared territory tonight. I would also like to acknowledge the efforts and support by our three levels of government during this pandemic during these last few months, as well as thank them for the continued support of our division and brigade. We'll hear from some of them shortly over this next hour. And uh, yeah, our division's uh, annual borough spirit awards are normally held around this time of year. But with COVID-19 currently taking hold of our communities, we needed to pivot and create something online, meaningful, and new to engage our members. Hence tonight's One St. John Celebrating Resilience event. It is so good to see all your faces um, again. Uh, we have missed you all. Uh, we also welcome in our presence, Provincial Commissioner David Valentine, whom we will hear from later this evening as well as welcome Deputy Brigade Cadet Commissioner Christina Hong and Superintendent Celine Froment of Division 304 with other team members from Burnaby's Adult Division. So welcome. As well, I see our uh, CEO, Karen McPherson is here too. I think I saw her uh, at the beginning. Uh, and many of the team members, uh, I see Jane Short there. Hi. Um, I've got many screens going on here, so I won't see everybody in one thing unless I start flipping around here. Um, but I also believe we have a representative from our provincial government, uh, MLA Ann Kung. So hi, Ann, good to see you. Um, very honored to have everybody here this evening. So um, we will also have a very special trailer video to show you at the end of this evening. So don't miss it, stick around. Um, and before we kick things off formally, I would like to take this opportunity to uh, get a few quick snapshots, screenshots, a virtual group photo. So uh, if you wanna bear with me for a moment here, I'm gonna try and see if I can move this screen around a little bit. Uh, just give me a second here. We just tried this with our uh, officers and it kind of worked. Um, okay, let's see. We can all fit in one page. All right, perfect. So let me try and see if I can do this without. Uh, so everyone look at your screen and give a big smile. Try that here. Okay, I think that worked. All right, let's. Uh, Move that back there. Okay. So that was wonderful. Thanks for bearing with me. So, without further ado, let's begin with the opening remarks by Her Honor Janet Austin, the Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia and 
Vice Prior of St. John Ambulance, followed by welcome remarks by St. John Ambulance CEO, Karen McPherson, and speeches by some of our federal leaders. for inviting me to join you this evening for the Burnaby Division's annual cadet graduation and awards night. Um, I'm delighted to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all the award earners and those receiving promotions this evening. But especially, I want to express my thanks to all of you who are members of the St. John Ambulance Organization in British Columbia. I'm very proud to be associated with this organization. I'm proud to serve as Vice Prior, and I take very seriously the vows that I pledged to uphold when I was installed about two years ago. I'd also like to share with you that your motto for the service of humanity is something that's guided me my entire life and I feel great alignment with your organization in being able to work to sustain the meaning of this motto in all that I do. Uh, your organization is one that I deeply admire. I admire your history of splendid work in Canada and British Columbia, and also your culture of thoughtful innovation that has enabled you to adapt to changing times and changing needs, and continue to provide the sterling service to British Columbians that has meant such a difference in all our communities. This last few months have been a time of great challenge and disruption for all of us. And I know that your organization has had many struggles as well. But I also know that the resilience, the commitment to innovation that has sustained you over many years and has enabled you to prosper as a society will sustain you through this as well. I look forward to working with all of you in the coming years and I thank you again for all that you do to make our communities stronger, richer, more tolerant and more just. And as we head into Canada Day 2020, I wish you every happiness and success in the time ahead. Hello everyone. 2020 is a year we will all remember as a year of firsts. Canadians first started hearing about the coronavirus in, in January 2020. By March 17th, British Columbia had declared a state of emergency because of COVID-19, and we found ourselves in a whole new reality, one which included 14-day self-isolation, um, social distancing, cleansing practices that changed, um, basically staying at home with limited access to family and friends. But we flattened the curve. A hundred days later, we are reopening the uh, uh, British Columbia economy and people are getting back to some sense of normalcy. And that includes the team at, at St. John Ambulance. For the past three months, we've been planning for these days and how to open up responsibly and within the guidelines of the provincial health um, officer. Within a month, all of our uh, offices will be open across the province. It takes a team, but it's not a surprise. St. John Ambulance is a team of very resilient people who are passionate about serving the communities across the province. Together we are strong. Superintendent Raymond Chow and friends of St. John Ambulance Burnaby, I bring sincere greetings on behalf of the Senate of Canada. It's my honor to address you on what would have been your annual award night. But due to COVID-19, I'm not able to be physically with you, but I am with you virtually at One St. John Celebrating Resilience event tonight. As one of the oldest humanitarian organizations in the world, St. John Ambulance continues to raise public awareness 
of first aid, CPR, and safety in Canada. St. John Ambulance has shown resilience during COVID-19. And I'm proud to see year in, year out in Burnaby and the rest of British Columbia and Yukon, St. John Ambulance serving communities throughout a network of 25 branches and 100 staff members training 80,000 students annually through more than 10,000 classes. Congratulations to all the award earners and promotions, but to all St. John Ambulance members for your resilience. We're in unusual times and we are adjusting to what is happening, but please hang in there and stay true to yourself. I would also quote Roy T. Bennett, author of Light in the Heart. What helps you persevere is your resilience and commitment. And of course, how can we forget Canada Day just a few days away? So happy Canada Day, bonne fête du Canada. Hi everybody, Terry Beach, your member of parliament for Burnaby North Seymour. I just wanted to take a second and uh, you know, virtually congratulate all the winners of St. John Ambulance tonight. Uh, this award is about resilience, but it's also about caring. And uh, I think our community's had uh, a lot of opportunities to reflect on how important it is that we care for each other over the last number of months. I even, you know, I took off my own mask to make this announcement today. And I'm, of course, speaking, I think, to a, a virtual audience. Uh, so, you know, uh, as we approach Canada Day, I think it's probably good for all of us to reflect on the fact how lucky we are to live in a country as prosperous as Canada. But also, what makes us such a great country is the fact that uh, we care for each other, we take care of each other, and when tough, when, when times get tough, you know, Canadians step to the plate to make sure that we take care of our most vulnerable and that we act to help each other out. So I just want to say congratulations once again to all the award winners tonight. And uh, if there's anything I can ever do to advocate on your behalf, just please uh, feel free to reach out and contact me. It would be my absolute pleasure and thank you for your service. All right, thank you to our CEO, Her Honor, and to all our federal leaders for those wonderful remarks. Um, now, I would just like to read our greetings from our superintendent, Mr. Raymond Chow, who unfortunately can't be here tonight um, due to some personal matters. Hello, everyone. I am sending you virtual greetings to congratulate you on this special day. I apologize for not being there in person to celebrate with you. I would like to thank all our guests who've provided special messages and given up their time to acknowledge the hard work and contribution of our cadets. Without their support and enthusiasm, this event would not have been a success. I would also like to thank my officers, especially Mr. Liu, for his hard work. He has given his all the past few weeks, and I would really like to thank him for his efforts. From what I've seen so far, it'll be nothing short of spectacular. Finally, I would like to thank the members and the parents for hanging in while we work through this challenging time. Together, together. I will see everyone soon. Raymond Chow. Uh, all right, so next, I would just like to invite um, our officers um, to present the awards. So if I could have uh, Ms. Selena Kung. Thank you, Ms. Kachkarova. So uh, I will be presenting awards um, for our junior members tonight. Junior members, thank you for a wonderful training year. Ms. Kachkarova and I wish we could present each of you with an award tonight because you have worked so hard throughout the year. Thank you for bringing your energy, enthusiasm, and a big smile to every meeting. Tonight, we would like to recognize three junior members for being leaders in the classroom and for setting a good example for their classmates. We would like to recognize Anika Kong, Kaylee Bellamy, and Olivia Chan. Congratulations. Cadets. Thank you, Ms. Kashkova. So first of all, I want to thank you all the cadets um, for all your hard work and being such an amazing group this year. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we had to end the year early. Um, I we would like to commend all of you for showing your hard work um, your and your enthusiasm for showing up to meetings every Monday night. Um, I would like to acknowledge two 
cadet members for um, exceeding our expectations this um, training year. Um, these two individuals uh, showed are engaged in all activities, showed leadership, helped their peers, um, and are great role models for other cadets as well. So I'll have Ms. Morrison announce the two names. All right, so without further ado, we would like to present the Cadet of the Year Award to Adam Chan um, and also Alana Yip. So congratulations, Adam and Alana. Wonderful. So for Crusaders, I know it's been a really, really interesting year. And I hope that you've all learned lots from training with the adult division to learning how to teach first aid in the classrooms with cadets and juniors. Um, and two of our Crusaders have just been really outstanding role models this year with their fellow NCOs and as well as cadets and the juniors. Um, and I would just like to take a minute and thank them for taking risks, um, stepping up to the challenge when it was needed, and supporting their peers. Um, so uh, we would like to recognize two Crusaders, the first being Christopher Jang and Liam Louie. Thank you. Well, congratulations to all our winners this evening. Uh, well deserved. Now, uh, we are honored to invite some of our congratulatory remarks from our four Burnaby MLAs now who represent us in our provincial government. Hi, members, friends, and families of St. John Ambulance in Burnaby. This is Katrina Chen, MLA for Burnaby Lohi, BC's Minister of State for Child Care, speaking here from the unceded traditional territories of the Coast Salish peoples. I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to congratulate all of you on all of your achievement during the past year. And while this has been somewhat of a unique time, and it's too bad that we're unable to celebrate this important occasion in person like we did last year, I still want to thank you all for your many contributions to our community, especially during this challenging time. And Canada Day is fast approaching. I want to wish you all a very happy Canada Day. And always remember that the history of Canada really started before Confederation, when First Nations and Indigenous peoples have already been living on this land for generations. So thank you all. I want to give you all my best wishes and I hope you have a wonderful celebration. Please take care. Hi everyone! Hi St. John Ambulance! My name is Anne Kang, MLA for Burnaby Deer Lake and Minister for Citizen Services and Minister Responsible for Multiculturalism. We're coming here tonight to recognize each of you for your volunteer work. Your service, compassion and help for others is a hopeful reminder of our duty of care towards each other. It is too easy to live in an individual bubble, but everyone here embodies the value of improving the health and safety for Canadians. It gives me great hope and happiness to recognize you and your important work. I wish you a very happy Canada Day, and I wish you strength in your upcoming year of important life-saving work. Thank you. Congratulations to all award earners in Burnaby's Adult and Cadet Divisions and to all St. John Ambulance members for their resilience. During these challenging times of COVID-19 and rise of racism in our communities, I want to say thank you for your work, your support, for standing up for each other. That's the only way we can protect and have a safer community. I also want to remind us that you know we are fast approaching the big celebration of Canada Day. Although we won't be able to celebrate it together, but we will be remembering each other and celebrating. So, happy Canada Day. Hi everyone, my name is Janet Rutledge. I'm the MLA for Burnaby North. I wish I could be there in person with you, 
but I'm in Victoria because today is the first day of the legislative session since we postponed it due to the pandemic. I want to congratulate all the members of the Bernard B Division who are getting awards today, but I also want to give a special thank you to all the members of the Bernard B Division of St. John Ambulance. One of the most important things that we learned throughout this uh, crisis is that we ourselves cannot be safe unless everyone is safe. We get through this as a community or we don't get through it at all. But that's something you knew already because caring for others is a fundamental value of St. John Ambulance. You are important role models and I thank you for that. All right, thank you for those inspiring words. Um, as some of you are aware, um, I will be stepping down from my position as divisional training officer at the end of the month. And I just wanna say that it's been a real privilege to work with um, and get to know you all, um, especially our cadets, our juniors and our crusaders. Um, but I'm more than happy to announce that uh, Ms. Garfield Huang will be taking over the DTO position. Um, so Ms. Huang, if you'd like to say anything. Hi, thank you, Ms. Uh, Kashkorova. This is an honor to take on this role. I have some big shoes to fill. But looking forward to seeing our cadets in the falls, and definitely I need all officers support me because I'm pretty new to the cadet. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we'll make sure of that. Um, <laughs> so next, um, we are very honored to have, uh, to welcome the mayor of Burnaby, his worship, Mike Hurley, to say a, for a few words of congratulations. Honored guests, I want to begin by congratulating the recipients of the 2020 Burwell Spirit Awards. You are role models in our community. As early as the 1940s, through countless hours of volunteer service and first aid training, St. John Ambulance members have enabled the diverse residents of Burnaby to improve their health, safety, and quality of life. During this time of COVID-19, we have faced many challenges from the pandemic itself to a rise in racism but we have also witnessed the power that comes from working together for a common purpose. As St. John Ambulance members already know, we are stronger when we look out for one another. I want to commend you for your resilience and your contributions to our community's well-being. Thank you for making our city a better place. Although our celebrations will feel a bit different this year, I wish you all a very Happy Canada Day. Well, thank you, Mayor Hurley, for those inspiring words. Uh, next, we have the coveted Florence Burwell Champion of the Community Award. Just so you know, Florence Burwell and her husband, Ralph, were pillars of the cadet program and staunch advocates for the development of champions and leaders of our community for over 70 years combined. And this year's winner is very active in her community. In particular, her tireless efforts and involvement with the BC Cadet Council or the many community organizations, such as the Leadership We Organization Club and Van City Youth Credit Union Board of Directors. Okay, looks like we have a special call from Mayor Hurley uh, now, so please stand by. Hello everyone, it's my honor to present the Florence Burwell Champion for the Community Award to this year's winner. Hello, Alana. My name is Mike Hurley, Mayor here of the City of Burnaby. I'm very pleased to be here this evening. 
And it's with great pleasure that I present this year's award, Corporal Alana Yip. Congratulations. And thank you for your service and dedication to our community. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Mayor Hurley, for that wonderful surprise. And congratulations to Corporal Alana Yip. Uh, Corporal Yip, I know you've earned this award. You've worked tirelessly, so congratulations. Um, now we are going to go to our three chiefs from the RCMP, um, the Transit Police, as well as the Burnaby Fire Department. Hello everyone, my name is Chief Superintendent Deanne Burley, the officer in charge at Burnaby Detachment. I would like to recognize all of you, the award winners and volunteers, who continue giving your time to our community with St. John Ambulance. The last few months and the current COVID-19 pandemic have shown how important the connections provided by community organizations like St. John Ambulance are in our community. While I have no doubt that it has been difficult to see your activities slow down, please know that the work you do in our community is very much appreciated. Whether it's attending events alongside us at the Burnaby RCMP or working on initiatives within our city, it should not be lost on anyone that each of you are giving the community a very precious commodity, your time. For now, until we have the opportunity to meet again in person, I hope you enjoy your awards evening and I wish each and every one of you a very happy Canada Day. Hi, I'm Dave Jones of the Metro Vancouver Transit Police, and on behalf of all of our members and staff, I want to congratulate this year's winner, winners of the St. John Ambulance Awards. Of particular note this year has been the resilience and the dedication that you have shown during an unprecedented time with COVID and the pandemic going on. The invaluable services that you bring to our communities at all events and all opportunities where you're involved has been phenomenal. So on behalf of the Metro Vancouver Transit Police, once again, congratulations and thanks for all you've done. By the way, happy Canada Day. Hello, St. John's Ambulance. From the men and women of the Burnaby Fire Department, we'd like to express our congratulations to the award earners in Burnaby's division and to all the St. John Ambulance members for their resilience. St. John Ambulance and Burnaby Fire have worked together harmoniously for years, and we've been a great model for how to work together and get along. Resilience is so important during this time of COVID and with the rise of social awareness for racism. But it has been inspirational to see how the community has risen up around to support each of us. In closing, I'd like to wish everybody a safe and enjoyable Canada Day 2020. Well, thank you to our three chiefs for their messages of congratulations and wonderful words of support and inspiration. As we are nearing the end of this program, I would also like to wish you all a safe and happy Canada Day and look forward to seeing you all in the fall. As I mentioned earlier, we are very honored to have in our presence during this evening's celebration, our provincial commissioner, David Valentine. I would like to now invite him to make the closing remarks. Commissioner Valentine, sir. Thank you, Richard. Honorary Brigade President Richard Liu, Brigade Deputy Cadet Commissioner Christina Hong, members of our farm team, and that's what our cadets are, they're the farm team, our dedicated adult volunteers, officers and uh, cadets and family of the Burnaby Division. Thank you tonight for allowing me to say a few words to wrap up this incredible evening of a recognition. Once you're a St. Johner, you're a lifer. I started as a youth member in November of 1959. We didn't call them cadets and we were youth members. And I got hooked and here it is now 2020, and I'm just as excited about being a member of St. John today 
as I was in 1959 when they gave me a white t-shirt and uh, and a, uh, a hat and uh, a first aid kit. And I still have the triangular bandage that came out of that first aid kit that has all the knots and, uh, and uh, ways to use a triangular bandage imprinted on it. And uh, one of these days I'll bring it across to Vancouver so everybody can have a look at it. So I guess that makes me old. For those just starting at St. John, you're a part of a pretty special family. One that's given of itself in Canada for over 200 years and many, many more years around the world. So for those closer to old like me, Thank you for all, your do, all you do and have done in service to St. John. And for those of you that are starting out, thank you for choosing St. John as a way to give back to your community. This is a crazy time in our history with a global COVID pandemic. However, St. John has survived other global pandemics. We also survived two major world wars. So, if anybody wants to know uh, about St. John, we are resilient. There's nothing more rewarding than being able to help our fellow men and women and children when they need medical assistance. To coin a phrase from John F. Kennedy, ask not what St. John can do for you, rather ask, what can I do for St. John and mankind? Tonight's successful event is a direct result of the dedication of many behind the scenes. Under the leadership of Raymond Chow, Richard Liu, this evening couldn't happen. With additional support from Christina Kacharova, Ian DeLeon, Selena Kung, Anthony Lowe, Sari Lin, Doris Lin, and Colin Sham. Thank you for making this evening possible. And also a big thank you to all the speakers that we heard from tonight for taking time out of their busy lives to recognize and acknowledge the great work that you folks in Burnaby are doing. The group that's been working behind the scenes has got a final video for this evening. This one is called One St. John, an idea that Mr. Chow and Mr. Liu came up with and was to get the individuals in our community to say a simple hashtag, One St. John. And I'm told the effect of these Stitch video clips is amazing. So if you're interested in being a part, please send an email to Mr. Liu so they can make this show longer and better this summer. Tonight, I'm delighted to help launch this one St. John premiere trailer, produced to commemorate the evening and reflect the diversity and resilience in our community. Congratulations to all members who received awards and promotion. Uh, this evening. And in closing, I want to thank you for joining us at One St. John, celebrating re resilience. The annual Burwell Spirit Awards evening is one I shall not forget. I also want to wish you and your families and your loved ones a special happy Canada Day. Please stay well and safe. And in, in closing, I will say pro fide, pro ulitarite hominum for the for the faith and the service of humanity can i ask you to roll the tape one saint john 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 one Saint John. 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 One Saint John.